Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm driving around in the tundra today. Actually made a failed attempt to look at a Jeep, uh, which doesn't exist, apparently. I don't know. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is uh, tundras and trolls. Um, I find it kind of funny, actually. Um, and trolls do have their place. There is a useful function of internet trolls. So I'm going to talk about that. Okay, first of all, anytime you talk about really any brand of car, any of the big, you know, production cars or trucks, in this case I'll focus on the Tundra, um, you have a lot of strong opinions. You know, people who are dedicated Chevy guys or people who are dedicated Ford guys or dedicated Toyota people, um, which is good, I guess. I'm always a bit confused at that, though, and that these most of these folks don't have any ownership in the companies, you know. I mean, it's not like they're a, a stockholder or an owner of the company, which I don't know if any of the companies are private anymore. Um, so they don't really have any vested interest in the company, other than they may simply buy um, the company's product. You know, it's kind of like uh, a refrigerator. You know, I might buy a... I don't know, uh, Hitachi or uh, uh, Westinghouse or whatever the refrigerator companies are these days. But I'm not a diehard fan. I don't get into arguments over how bad the other refrigerators are and my refrigerator is better because of whatever. So I always find that funny. Me personally, I'm not a diehard uh, fan or loyalist is probably a better term, I guess, to describe um, how I am not um, affiliated with any brand. You know, I drive what I like. It's my money. I spend it on what I like, and I drive what I like. But anyway, um, it's, it's interesting with a YouTube channel because people somehow feel, and, it's, and I know why, it's because they're sitting behind a, a computer. It's not face-to-face. -face. They're anonymous feel like they can say whatever they want. It doesn't matter. Whether they really believe it or not, some people just like to fight, you know? Um, so they kind of they do their own thing. They'll, they'll call you names, they'll belittle you, they'll, they'll tell you you're an idiot. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, me personally, that I know that comes with the territory, right? If you're going to have a YouTube channel or any kind of uh, public presence, that anybody can get on and, and see and comment about. You're going to get that because that's just the way it is. And I don't have a problem with that. It doesn't bother me. I expect it. So I'll give you an example. The other day I actually got an email. Somebody went to the trouble to get my email address from the YouTube uh, account, which is fine. That's why it's there. Um, and then they had to paste it to their own email uh, application or software. And then they had to type up an email and send to me. So they put some effort into this. I mean, it wasn't just like clicking on the comment button, you know, against a video or something. And they proceeded to tell me that they, they basically, basically, and I'm going to paraphrase a little, but basically didn't, didn't understand what I do. You know, with when it comes to cars, why I trade so frequently, why I talk about vehicles and how good they are, and then I don't keep them very long, and I don't really keep them long enough to uh, to give a a fair uh, review, I guess. Apparently, you have to keep vehicles for years to to really you know know what you're doing. I don't know. Um, then they proceeded to tell me that uh, I was spoiled. And, uh, and, uh, also that I, I waste my money, um, which I find interesting. Number one, uh, I'm not a kid, obviously, so spoiled, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm spoiled when I spend my money on what I want, but okay. Um, and that I waste my money, well, I would argue probably that most people waste their money on many things. 
Um, you know, if we if we were all we're all as frugal as we could be, you know, we would buy non-brand name products. We would buy vehicles that got the highest gas mileage at the lowest cost. We would only buy the things that we need. We would only buy sacks to wear, I guess. We don't need designer clothing or, you know, designer coats or shoes or any of that kind of stuff. We would only spend our money on the absolute necessity. So if you wanted to take that to the nth degree, we all waste our money. And I'm sure the person that sent me this email wastes a lot of money themselves. It's just the way it is. That's a fact of life, really. So I, I found, again, I, I find it interesting that people feel that they somehow are entitled uh, to express their opinion and pass judgment on anything or anyone they see out there on the web. It's just, it's amazing to me how arrogant people are that their way is the right way and the only way, and they pass judgment on people they don't even know. I mean, let's be honest here. You know, anybody that's on YouTube shows you what they want to show you, right? I mean, you don't know these people. Nobody knows me except my family or personal acquaintances that, that watch this channel. Otherwise, they don't know me. So I'm not quite sure how you, you are justified in passing judgment based on your own infinite wisdom, I guess, on people you don't know. Now again, don't take don't don't get this wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. And I know there are gonna be some trolls watching this that say, well, then why are you talking about it? If it doesn't bother you, why do you bring it up? Because I find it entertaining, actually. And I find that trolls do have a useful purpose. What is that useful purpose? Well, in this case, they provide content for my channel and others. There are a couple other people that I watch that recently um, addressed trolls on the internet in a, in a different fashion than I am, of course. And I don't know that they really uh, agree that trolls are useful. But the reason that I feel that trolls are useful, because trolls, when you're in the right mood, provide an opportunity to take out your own frustration. It's rather enjoyable sometimes to respond to a troll, to get into it with a troll, if you will. Only when you feel like it. It's an outlet. It's an outlet to release any pent up aggravation or stress that you might have yourself as a content creator. I do it myself occasionally. Now, I do keep it within the realm of G-rated, no worse than PG-rated. Um, I don't attack the troll in the way that they attack me, of course, um, because there's no reason to do that. It doesn't give me any satisfaction to call people names or use expletives or belittle people that are, in essence, belittling me. I take a higher ground, and not because I'm necessarily some kind of devout, higher ground kind of person. I just like to have a, a civilized discussion with some of these people. And I find that one of two things happens when you do that. One, they stop responding. Actually, one of three things. They stop responding. Two, they... Uh, they retract their original statement, which was the case in what happened recently. Or three, they just say, F you, and, uh, and that's kind of the end of it. That's always the most disappointing response to me because I'm looking for that outlet when I do address folks like this um, because I have some pent up frustration or anger that maybe I, would, I just choose to release on them. Uh, much in the same way that they have chosen to pass judgment on me, I guess. Does that make me worse than them? Um, no, I don't think so. It's uh, it's simply responding to someone who has contacted, in this case, me. I didn't start the discussion. I didn't reach out. So I'm merely responding to a comment or a contact that was initiated by someone else. Anyway, 
I just wanted to get on here and talk about that for a minute. All you other folks out there who are maybe new to YouTube or, or any other social media that are starting your own channel or your own interaction with the public, have thick skin. You've got to have thick skin to do this. If you take things personally on here, you're never going to make it because it's going to happen, and it's going to happen a lot. That's just the nature of it. It's the way it is. But address these things in a calm, civilized manner with points that you can support. Confront these people. It's kind of like internet bullying, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. Uh, I find it entertaining, like I said. Trolls do have their place for me. Uh, it's an outlet to, uh, to release some of my own pent-up aggression or, or feelings, I guess. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know how you handle the trolls. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.